Boy, there's nothing better than a frisky live bait for catching fish. And it's an even better bait when hooked correctly with the right size hook and leader. So check this out. We caught a pile of threadfin herring the other day. We put them up in our holding pen. They're pretty much all the same size, so we know the rig to use. But we're still gonna stop at the sea buoy on the way out and try and catch a couple of runners. So we're gonna need rigs for them as well. All right, so for small or medium baits like herring, pogies, or sardines, I like a 3-0 nose hook and a number four treble when we're targeting kingfish. Hook spacing is also critical. For these baits, about four inches apart works fine. There's a small pocket between his eye and the tip of his nose, kind of a natural place for the nose hook to go through sideways. The treble hook goes through sideways as well. For larger baits like goggle eyes and runners, I'll usually put the nose hook through just the upper lip. If we're not expecting toothy critters, I'll tie the hook straight to a mono leader. I prefer circle hooks, and depending on the species, it's either a medium or a 3X heavy hook. For sailfish, it's a 5-0 or a 6-0 medium wire hook, and it's gonna get flossed to the bait. Now, the beauty of flossing a bait is you don't have to pull the hook out of the bait to get it into your target species. And with circle hooks, we simply reel until the fish is tight. Before heading out and in between bites, I'll inspect the leaders and put fresh rubber bands on. Also look closely here at the way I attach the rubber band. It's a simple process that makes hooking the bait faster and easier. Start by holding the band open and making two loops in it. Now take the hook, put it through both loops, pull it tight, and the band will stay there while you're rigging. Now I keep my rigging needles handy in this foam noodle. Hook the rubber band on, get it close to the bait well, grab your bait, slip the needle through the pocket between his eye and his mouth. This is a great spot that won't do damage to the bait and it'll keep him swimming forward. So if you're bottom fishing for snappers and groupers, I like to put the hook through both lips, start in the bottom, come all the way up through the top. This is important to have a strong hook hold on your bottom baits because a lot of those little guys will try and peck them off. Woohoo!